Hello everybody and greetings from the Florida RV Super Show 2021. And yeah, we're here early because we've been invited to a special event. In my RV, yeah. Okay, here we are at the Arcadia special event. And uh, yeah, this is the one we've been waiting for by Keystone. And uh, let's step inside. Okay, I'm here with Dustin Tavernier and he's gonna tell us all about this Arcadia model here. Um, we're standing in the Arcadia 3250. This is a this is a concept um, unit for us. This is the very first uh, 3250 that we produced. Um, this is going to be in our half ton towable series. So this particular unit only weighs about 8,500 pounds. Um, so it's hitting a nice weight. Uh, this is a floor plan really that at Keystone um, is brand new. We've not done anything um, similar to this. So as you Take a look at the back of the unit. You can see a very large L-shaped sofa. Um, on the right side there, that will pull out into a trifold sofa. The overhead storage, you can see um, we, we gave an abundance of storage actually with all the overheads. Um, as you sneak back here, we've got um, a nice slide room, all flush floor slides, both our um, regular slide and then our galley slides are flush floor. Not see. typically done at Keystone. I, I think see. we're one of two it. brands. Yeah. Yep. Yes. So that's a fairly new uh, system for us. Um, again, trying to really provide maximum amount of storage behind our TV. We've got a kind of a hidden storage or, um, you know, just some additional. Uh, running all Jensen ele electronics with our stereo, uh, TV, and then of course a fireplace. We do have a pantry that features a motion sensor light, adjustable shelves, and then we've provided a nice countertop here to essentially provide a, an appliance garage. Uh, those folks that are traveling with coffee makers, uh, blenders, uh, that type of stuff. So it's, you can remove the shelves. Absolutely. Yes. As you head through the slide room, we've got a, a 30 inch microwave oven, um, a 20 inch. And 20 is, that a, is that a residential oven you have there or is that? Uh, uh, this is, I would still consider this, um, just a nice oven with a three burner top. That's gonna be very RV-ish, rather than a freestanding, I think is what yeah. you're referring to. And then we wanted to add the wine rack, and then just to the right of the microwave, a pull-out spice rack. And then as you cruise through, you can see, again, storage, 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 um, as much as we could. Drawers underneath the refrigerator as well. One big directive um, on the inside of all of Arcadia's, we wanted it to appear very residential. So as you look at overheads and some of the cabinetry I'm showing you, um, you're not going to see a lot of styles or wood in between the drawers. So we wanted to provide that residential look even on the inside. Very clean uh, as you're taking a look at the cabinetry. And then in all of our kitchens we'll, we will have a uh, farmhouse sink. You can see the solid surface countertops with sink covers. And then really trying to provide that farmhouse look um, you know, with the white cabinetry, we really yeah, wanted to I, be I nice and light and airy. So yes, look uh, larger. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. A lightweight uh, unit at 8,500 pounds yes. that we're standing in, and then we wanted it to feel very light and airy. I love with all the appointments. huge windows you have here as absolutely. well. Yeah, yeah, that's something. Uh, this is the largest window, to my knowledge, that's produced uh, in the industry. Yeah, we wanted to like implement that. One thing we wanted to do too, again, more residential, just a nice Roman shade with a blackout feature on the back of that. Clean lines, you know, not. Yeah, you only have this one slide here on the. That's correct. On this one, just we've got this slide and then we have a wardrobe slide up top. Okay. All right, let's walk here towards. Um, in our bathroom, um, as you can see, we've got. In here we've got a one-piece shower. We also um, have a decorative wall board, which is not something we commonly do um, back at Keystone. So with Arcadia, we wanted to, to bring that into play and, and to offer the customer a, a little bit better look that way. And we have the bedroom. Yes. So in the Half Ton series, this will be um, a common, common looking bedroom, excuse me. So we will have a queen, queen bed in here. We've got you know, flanked with your headboard. We have two spots for perhaps CPAP machines, obviously charging of phones, any electronics that you may need. And again, yes. And again, that overhead cabinetry, 
you know, I think typically in a floor plan with like this, with the big styles, we'd only get four doors up there. Uh, here in the Arcadia, we're able to, to get five in. And then, of course, having the wardrobe slide is a, is a big deal for us as well. And then in each of the Arcadia models, we're gonna have underneath our bed, some large drawers. So all bed bases will have two large drawers for additional storage, whether that be clothing, bedding, that type of how, thing. How many feet long is this? This one is 32 feet, 32 five feet. inches. So on the, on the shorter, uh, yes, yes, of, of, yep. That's right. Now, now, can you tell us a little bit what's under the hood? Because I read in the press kit that you have like uh, insulation and uh, and yes. basically the electrical systems. Uh, yeah. So, are, uh, Keystone's been building fifth wheels for a long time. Um, what we wanted to do is really improve the foundation, which what you're talking about is the frame, mm, yeah. and we're calling that the next generation uh, frame from Keystone. With that, we, it's proprietary to Keystone right now. So our engineers worked with uh, our frame supplier and created what we're calling a crawl space chassis or the next generation chassis. And really what that's allowing us to do is we're running all of our electrical, all of our plumbing, all of our duct work through a dedicated space so that we're not sacrificing any of the strength of the frame itself. Obviously it's easy on production, um, very friendly to run, um, for, for instance, the ductwork is going to allow us to have just a higher, you know, CFM where we're pushing air through at a much more efficient rate. So that was a major part of that. The insulation you talk about, um, we're putting block foam insulation down in that crawl space. That, mm -hmm. in addition to our hyperdeck flooring, is giving an amazing amount of insulation and um, creating a nice space for all that, uh, you know, all the tanks and so on to, to maintain heat and uh, really extend your camping season. So. Yeah, and um, the other thing that I that I read, and that this is important to me, being a content creator. Yeah. Uh, do you have lithium batteries on these things so, now, and uh, like an inverters and? Stuff? So we are working towards that solar package. So that is correct. That's um, a solar package that I read about. Yes. So um, currently we're we're finalizing what we're going to do, but you are absolutely correct. We're going to have a, a system that will include one lithium ion yeah. battery mm -hmm. with the opportunity to then add to that, okay. add a second. And is that gonna be an option or is that, is that gonna be standard? That will be an option. An option. Yes. Yeah, a, lot of, a lot of people, they don't really need it if they're gonna keep it on an RV park Absolutely. all the time. But Absolutely. If you have, like I'm going next week to Quartzsite, Arizona, to Boondock. Yes. That's, that's a must. So that, in that instance, that would be absolutely perfect for you. Yeah. And the system we're looking at is actually gonna have an app control where you can monitor on their app exactly how much energy you're using, uh, when that begins to refuel itself. So. We're excited to, to launch that. You know, probably the big thing um, with Arcadia, we have a, an entire new look to our front cap. And that was designed around the fact that um, we wanted to provide a, a new look or a new stance for this. So all of our caps are designed to basically give us more room in this, you know, in every bedroom. And then also we're providing in our three quarter tone series, the ability to have a true walk-in closet. And I can show you that um, in the in the 3660. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, let's head over there. Then. All right. Um, we really wanted to, to design this with um, some automotive DNA. So part of that is in our pass through. If if you pop on up here, one, we've got a lining around here, and there is nothing obstructing this whatsoever. So entirely clean. The door on this side is the same size on that. So a true pass through where whatever cargo you put on one side can can pull through. We've got your uh, D-rings here to tie cargo down. But the big thing is the cleanliness. There's no wiring, no pipes, um, all clean on that. Do you want to hop is, is in? There, is there easy access to, to that, to, to, to that, the, the conduit where you, where you, where you have uh, like, um, yeah, all it, that like yeah. for, for repair or maintenance? In fact, you know, some, some RVs is like yeah. impossible yeah. To, 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 to... You bring up a great it. point. So everything on this left side, all of your wiring and some of those tie-ins are right behind that panel. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to access that, you're basically just unscrewing this panel right. and, and gaining access. Back, yeah. Yep. Well, that's perfect. And then on the other side, our convenience center is all in one location. So all of your water lines, your valves, termination valves, all that in one convenience center. Perfect. All right, let's step into this one. And this right. will be the 3660 RL. Correct. Rear leaving. That's what RL stands for. And uh, well, we'll begin this one in the bedroom. I figured um, since I, t I talked a little bit about that chassis. 
So you had asked me a little bit about um, our chassis. So to continue that conversation, we have gone to the Space Saver Rhino frame from Lippert. So what that allows us to do is on this entire deck, the floor is flat with no step up all the way up until the front. So the front cap design, as you can see when you walk in here, was meant entirely to provide what you're seeing, which is a huge walk-in closet. Um, in our walk-in closet, something a little different in this particular segment, we do have washer and dryer prep. So the ability for the customer to, to take on a stackable washer and dryer is absolutely all set for them uh, with a little bit of customizing here. We do have a uh, chest of drawers in our walk-in closet as well. So very much a superior walk-in closet. As you look in um, our three quarter ton series, we're, everything is being built with a California king bed, which is fairly new for us. As I mentioned in the 3250, yep, huge amounts of storage. And then this bed base is actually affixed to the unit. And we're doing that because underneath this bed, there's an additional fresh water tank. So there's a 30 gallon tank. And we talked a little bit about, uh, you mentioned you're going to quartz site to, yeah. you know, and not gonna be able to plug in. Mm -hmm. So we are providing the opportunity, if you in fact choose, you can take up to 100 gallons of fresh water in the Arcadia three quarter tons by having that additional fresh tank. So, and then to kind of a small appointment in our bedroom, we do have a bench seat with some storage underneath. Mm -hmm. So the ability not only to walk into your closet, but to uh, comfortably get dressed. And part of that front cap as well, the additional ceiling height um, in a mid-profile fifth wheel is a very, very big deal. This yeah. feels um, just as high as some of our high-profile fifth yeah. wheels at Keystone. Especially for the, the taller people like Yes, six, no, absolutely. Six, six feet tall, you know, it's uh, sometimes... Uh, okay, the, uh, anything here in the bathroom that we... Um, in the bathroom, on, in the 3660, again, part of our three-quarter ton series, um, a little bit larger so shower. You're going to see the same uh, decorative wallboard, much the same configuration, just a little bit bigger shower in the in the 3660 or our three quarter, quarter ton series. So one thing I wanted to mention as you as you get into some of our models with with islands, we are providing um, again a massive amount of storage space. We've got two drawers um, and then three doors down below. We have a pull out trash bin all set for the end user. Again, we talked about the farmhouse sink, and then you'll begin to see a butcher block sink cover in all of your Arcadias. So this is going to allow for some nice versatility along with some eye appeal. And then as you look on the opposite side, we've got a flip-up table. So this table obviously can be used for prepping food, serving food, also a workstation. We've got um, electric all set with um, the USBs. Yes. It really just provides the opportunity take a couple of the chairs, you turn it, you've got workstation for yourself, for kids, and then they can be a part of what's happening in the, in the main yeah, Nowadays, a lot of people are homeschooling, Absolutely. Are working from the road. Yes. And, uh, yeah, Absolutely. Absolutely. That's great. So very similar to our 3250 as far as the slide itself. In, in some of our bigger models, we do have a little bit wider slide. Um, a lot of the same appliances that you saw on the other unit. So on the 3660, we have a 55 inch Jensen TV uh, with, a, with an audio system that has three zones. So you can play here, watch your movie, a zone outside, and then we have a speaker in the bedroom of all the Arcadias, um, all of which you can control through, an, through just an app on your phone. Um, again, just like on the 3250, the 3660 is gonna provide you with that nice hidden storage. Nice hidden storage. Yes. As we move to the back of the unit, um, this is a 92 inch wide trifold sofa. So one of the widest mechanisms really that we're able to get. So when you fold the trifold out, it's a true king bed uh, sleeping surface. And then again, just that, auto, basically the residential look, very limited on styles. You've got your Roman shades. And then in um, your Arcadia 3660, you've got the theater seat that we've got massage, heat, and then the, also the ability to charge your phone on either side and even a spot right There's here in the middle. Wireless charger there, yeah. And you can't do any charging without a beverage, of course. So of you've course. got your uh, <laughs> cup holder and some nice uh, additional yeah, storage. Yeah. Yep. I, like, I like the accent, accent mm -hmm. lighting also that you have down there. So again, 
light, airy, you know, very, um, I guess, as much as anything, just the farmhouse look and, and implementing some of the white cabinetry with some of our browns. Do you have any options for like residential refrigerators? And we do not at this time. So right now what you see is a, is a 12 cube refrigerator. And then we're gonna go more towards the 12 volt technology to where with that solar yes. package we talked about, mm -hmm. that'll be very friendly for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. compression so. style refrigerator. A lot of people are, are, are going yes. with those now. Absolutely. Now, now that we have the battery technology to do it. You know? Yes. All right, this is great. Thank you so well, much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Robert. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you. I appreciate the time. You're welcome. All right, that was the new Arcadia by Keystone. And here we got our first look at this uh, special event.